Welcome back to Awesome News TV and today we're going to first look at Emiliano Martinez aiming another dig at Arsenal as he insisted he never wanted to join and then we're going to look at Willian finally opening up on his Arsenal horror spell and admitting he wasn't happy. So the first transfer headline states that Emiliano Martinez aims another dig at Arsenal as he insists he never wanted to join. So the reports are stating that Emiliano Martinez may not reminisce too fondly about his time with Arsenal. Aston Villa goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez has hit out at his former club Arsenal by insisting that he never wanted to head to North London in the first place. The Gunners are widely considered to have mishandled his 8 years spell at the club in light of the fact he has been mightily impressive since making the switch to Villa Park. Before even notching a senior appearance, that, um, Emiliano Martinez flew to England to complete a move from Argentinian side in Dependiente as a teenager. His lengthy stay at the Emirates was characterised by a series of underwhelming loan spells before an injury crisis granted him and run in the first team. Although his strong performances did not earn him the number one jersey under Mikel Arteta, it did grant him a move to Aston Villa in an eyebrow-raising £20 million deal. Since switching to the West Midlands, he has been nothing short of a revelation, becoming the first choice stopper for Argentina and winning nine caps over the past few months. It was far from an ideal relationship between Martinez and Arsenal, a period of his career where he elaborated on an interview with El Pais. Also came to look for me and Pepo Santoro, a coach at Independiente, told me that the train only passes once in a lifetime. He said, my family and my agents thought the same, so the decision was more for them than anything else. I didn't want to go, I did not regret it, but I wanted to play in Indi Independiente. For a while I thought, if I stayed in two years I would make my debut, but my family lacked a little financially, I did it more for, then, for that than sports. Now, t um, for Martinez's agent's attitude um, illustrates the extent to which Arsenal star has fallen in recent years, particularly from their Premier League heyday in the early 2000s. With the club currently at their lowest ever after kicking off the new season with three consecutive deals, defeats, they could benefit from the Argentine solidity between the sticks. In his absence, they spent a whopping £25 million on Aaron Ramsdale to provide backup to Bert Leno as part of a frivolous club of spending spree. With Emiliano Martinez in his late 20s, he clearly felt as though Villa could hand him more regular opportunities in goal, and he has been proven right. The former Arsenal stopper was also at the centre of Sunday night's controversy between Brazil and Argentina when Brazilian authorities stalled the pitch after Premier League players were deemed to have breached COVID quarantine rules and regulations. The match was eventually suspended, although Tottenham duo Giovanni Lo Celso and Cristiano Romero will reportedly face punishment from Spurs for flying to South America. Whether Emiliano Martinez will face the same treatment from Willem remains to be seen, but it could lead to his first Premier League absence since signing in 2020, which could be a huge loss for the club. If that does turn out to be the case, he would all be, no, he would be no stranger to sitting on the sidelines, having got plenty of practice with the Gunners. So Emiliano Martinez aims another dig at the Gunners, and this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that Willian finally opens up on his Arsenal horror spell and admits he wasn't happy. So the reports are stated that Willian agreed to terminate his three-year contract with Arsenal in August, just 12 months after arriving at the Emirates to much fanfare on a free transfer from Chelsea. Willian has lifted the lid on his happiness at Arsenal for the first time since leaving the club to return to Corinthians. The Brazilian winger agreed to terminate his three-year contract in August, just 12 months after arriving at the Emirates on a free transfer from Chelsea. Willian joined the Gunners to much fanfare, but his time in North London quickly turned into a nightmare as he found the back of the net just once in 37 appearances. The 33-year-old is relieved to have put his time at Arsenal behind him and reflected on the torrid spell during an eye-opening interview with his new sides. I really thought a lot together with my family and close people. Unfortunately, my time at Arsenal was not good. I wasn't happy at the club, William told TV Corinthians. I don't need to go into details, but I wasn't happy and I thought that returning to Brazil was the best option. I studied some other opportunities, but I wanted to return to Corinthians to my home to be close to my family. It's the club that projected me to the world, revealed me the right time to come back was this. William came through the academy ranks at Corinthians before making a senior debut with the Brazilian club in 2006. 
He went on to play for Shakhtar Donetsk, Anzi Makalaka and Chelsea for winning five major honours with the Blues including two Premier League titles. Willian scored 63 goals for Chelsea and also laid on a steady supply of assists from his berth on the flank <clears throat> but failed to replicate his output with Arsenal. He told Sky Sports where Ghana's technical director recently recalled his conversation with Willian and Mick Law said so when the players' unhappiness emerged. At the end of the season, I came to Willie and me and Mikel and said, how are you? Because I want you, I need you to be much more consistent what is happening. And then he mentioned to us he is not 100% comfortable and when we heard that we made the decision that we did not want to play here, he was not 100% comfortable. And he added, if not now, it's my business to try and find the best solution. If it's a mistake or not, it's harder to say. You wouldn't if our season had been better with everyone being more consistent. But the most important thing is we tried and what we tried, we planned what we planned and if it works or not, we have to find a solution. Willian will hope to rekindle his career with Corinthians where he has been handed the number 10 jersey. So it looks like Willian finally opens up on his Arsenal horror and admits he wasn't happy. And when it comes to Willian, we have to tell him the fact that look, he didn't work out at Arsenal, but you have to respect the fact that he didn't want no form of a payoff. He didn't want, just because he had two years remaining on his contract, he didn't want a payoff or any form of Arsenal to pay him a bonus just because he left the football club. And I am glad that he did leave the club because I think that's very good business by Willian to leave the football club to suggest that he didn't want to stay at the club is something that is very keen. We do. We as also fans do not want him to remain at the club. He left the club. But one thing it all comes to again is why didn't Edu or McLaughlin to try to get some form of a transfer fee for him? even one million, two million, three million, four million pounds up to eight million pounds is a transfer value. So it's a bit b- bad business again from Edu because he cannot sell a single player for a significant fee. Even though Willock was sold, it was sold in instalments. So that is another bad business by Edu and Arteta. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal performs at the end of this season. If you want to see more daily videos from Arsenal News TV, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the like button so I know if you enjoyed the video, and share the video to your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the videos on the screen and I'll see you there.